Hello, dear friends. Hola. I hope your imagination has taken you to great heights since the last time we spoke. Como estas? You might answer by saying, Muy bien, gracias. Y tú? And then I might say, Buenísimo, gracias. My name is Miss Lane. L A N E. Me llamo Lana. I wonder, ¿cómo te llamas? You might respond by saying, Me llamo, and then state your name. I am so glad you are joining me at Five Rose Lane today. Bienvenidos. In this episode, we are celebrating our little birdie friend, Miss Robin Redbreast. Let's warm up with a quick circle. This is my right hand. I'll raise it up high. This is my left hand. I'll touch the sky. Right hand, left hand. Roll them around. Left hand, right hand. Pound, pound, pound. Let us form a ring, dancing as we sing. Ring a ring a ray, oh. ring a ring a ray. Oh. Now I turn myself around. What? Little Robin Redbreast sat upon a tree. Kitty Cat climbed after her, and down flew she. Down came Kitty Cat, and away Robin ran. Said Little Robin Redbreast, catch me if you can. Little Robin Redbreast jumped upon the wall. Kitty jumped up after her and almost got a fall. Little Robin chirped and sang, and what did Kitty say? Kitty Cat said not, but mew, and Robin flew away. The wind told the grasses, and the grasses told the trees. The trees told the bushes, and the bushes told the bees. The bees told the robin, and the robin sang up clear. Wake up, wake up, spring is here. Wake up, wake up, spring is here. El viento told los pastos, and the grasses told los arboles. The trees told los arbustos, and bushes told las abejas. The bees told El Petirojo, and Robin come to Claro. Wake up, despierta, spring is here. Despierta, wake up, primavera esta aquí. This is the way we wash our clothes, wash our clothes, wash our clothes. This is the way we wash our clothes all on a purple day morning. This is the way we paint with care, paint with care, paint with care. This is the way we paint with care all on a Monday morning. This is the way we weave our nest, weave our nest, weave our nest. 
This is the way we weave our nest. Todo el lunes por la mañana. This is the way we sing with the birds. Sing with the birds. Sing with the birds. This is the way we sing with the birds. All on a Monday morning. Have you ever seen a robin? If not, I bet you've at least heard one chirping nearby. They live in all parts of the world except South America and Antarctica. And they love to sing their beautiful song no matter the season. They are quite friendly little birds if you make a habit of looking after them. If you give them the right kind of house, they will show you how they build their nest for the beautiful blue speckled eggs they lay. Robins like to live out in the open air. So if you hope to attract them to your yard, you'll need to provide them with a platform for feeding and a house with three walls. They like to eat raw peanut hearts, hard boiled eggs, juicy earthworms, and all kinds of fruit. They'll also need some water nearby to wash it all down. Did you know that you can use branches and vines to build a dinner table for Miss Robin? If your family is doing some spring cleaning around the yard, now is the perfect time to collect the clippings to make your own Robin restaurant. How do the robins build their nest? Robin Redbreast told me. First some wisp of yellow hay. In a pretty round they lay. Then some threads of flax or floss. Feathers too and bits of moss woven with a sweet, sweet song. This way, that way, and across. That's what Robin told me. That's what Robin told me. Where do the robins hide their nest? Robin Redbreast told me. Up among the leaves so deep, where the sunbeams rarely creep, long before the winds are cold, long before the leaves are gold. Bright-eyed stars will peep and see Baby Robins, one, two, three That's what Robin told me That's what Robin told me Spring has come to make us glad let us give her greeting winter days were cold and sad winter's rain is fleeting hearts are bright and blithe as may dance and sing the live long day spring has come to make us glad let us give her greeting. The owl that sits in the elder tree, I love and the lark at dawn. The starling that comes to awaken me, the thrush that runs on the lawn. The cluck of the fowl and the pigeons coo, the sparrow upon the wall. But the robin I love till it hurts, I do. I love him the best of all. Kind hearts are the gardens. Kind thoughts.
thoughts are the roots. Kind words are the blossoms. Kind deeds are the fruits. Which of our birdie friends makes the silliest dinner guest? Why, it's Miss Robin Redbreast, of course. She never bothers to fetch herself a plate. She just eats her food right off the ground. But she must beware not to tiptoe into a trickster's territory. Kitty cats love a bit of Robin for lunch, as do foxes and snakes and hawks. Even old owl might try to grasp Miss Robin and his talons. That is why we need to carefully consider where we place Miss Robin's dinner table. If you don't want to hang it from the branches, then you'll need to find a high ledge shaded by shrubs and trees. I'd like to know, what's your favorite part about spring? Is it all of the baby animals being born? Or perhaps you like planting a garden best. Maybe it's the crisp breezes that fill the air with sweet floral scents. Or it could be rainbows and puddles. Whatever it is that you like about spring is all part of what makes it such a beautiful season. The thing I like best about spring is the return of bright colors. Just look around, you can see them everywhere. Red, gold, green, blue. I love them all, don't you? That Miss Robin Redbreast sure does lay some colorful eggs. You might even have a crayon in your art box named after her. I wonder if you can find it. Last time we were together, I mentioned that wood sorrel makes a pretty orange dye. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. Wood sorrel isn't the only plant that has color changing abilities. Lots of them do. And I know the one that makes Robin's egg blue. Have you ever seen one of these in your refrigerator? It's a head of red cabbage. The chefs in your house might be saving it for a special recipe, so you'll need to ask before you use it. But if you've got the all clear, then you're ready to draw up a dye bath. Now there are two ways you can go about this. You can either use the power of the bright spring sun for a truly no help needed experience, or you can ask an adult to help you use a kettle or the stove to boil some water. For this episode, I'm enlisting brilliant brother son to work his special magic. To make red cabbage dye, you'll need one head of shredded red cabbage, three glass jars with lids, plenty of water, apple cider vinegar, salt, and baking soda. You'll also need undyed 100% natural fiber fabric, such as cotton, wool, or silk. And you might even try dyeing some paper or eggs. flowers in my garden. They sometimes talk with me. They tell me that they're trying to grow as sweet as sweet can be. I want to be like my flowers. I want to grow each day 
to be loving, kind, and helpful. At home, at school, at play. To be loving, kind, and helpful. At home, at school, at play. As you can see, you'll make three different colors of dye. Pink, purple, and robin's egg blue. This happens because red cabbage is what we call a pH indicator. The pH of something tells us how salty or sour it is. If you were to describe vinegar, you might use words like sharp, sour, acidic, or bitter. Vinegar draws out more of the red hues in red cabbage. Lemon juice is another example of an acid. Baking soda, on the other hand, is a base, which is to say that it is more alkaline, caustic, and ashy. It too is so salty that it becomes quite bitter. Baking soda gives us the blue hues. Baking soda, blue, and base all start with the B. Maybe that will make it easier to remember. Lastly, we have salt, the purple dye. You might be thinking, wait a minute, nothing can be saltier than salt. But what we know and love as table salt is actually right in the middle of the pH scale. It is a neutral, and its favorite number is lucky number seven. enjoyed making this dye, I hope you'll try this process again with wood sorrel. Just replace the shredded red cabbage leaves with wood sorrel leaves and flowers. Make sure you send me pictures of your work. I love to see my students' creations. Goodbye to you all and sweet be your day. May angels surround you and watch you at play. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Peace, love, and blessings to you, dear ones. May you always dream a new dream, carry a song in your heart, and spread your joy to others. I love you, and I'll see you again very soon. Adios.